Parkinson Will architecture firm was second largest architectural firm in the world. Uh, we were formerly St. Combs Deathless and we merged with Parkinson Will five and a half years ago. I have been with the firm 33 years. We've always been in the sports space, so these are my people. Something I'm excited for, and this speaks to my position in life, is I have grown children now. They're 22, 25, and 25, not quite off my payroll, but nonetheless grown children who have grown up in the industry. My husband's in the industry too. So they've had a lot of great venue experiences. They've sat in premium spaces. They've seen some great artists and sporting events up close. And now they're in a position where they're looking for their own experiences in buildings. Unique experiences don't always have to be expensive. And so I'm loving the trend of finding opportunities for everybody to do something different. They're not paying for a seat anymore, they're paying for the experience in the building. What are they gonna do in the building that they can post on social media and their friends will be jealous of? I'm excited for those opportunities for them. The next hot premium product is just going to be flexibility. We talk about flexibility a lot from an event perspective, you know, how you make a building serve a sporting event and a concert and a whatever else well. And I think we're starting to see that in the premium spaces. Is it theater boxes? Is it the mega suites? Maybe this year it is about the individual suites, but next year you can open them up and make a bigger club level out of it. We have to be adaptable and flexible and a building that's well designed can accommodate any of those requests. Venues are going to continue to engage the community more, which I love to see. I come from Denver, so we're national championship nuggets. And one of the things that I really loved was after we won and we won at home, the area around Ball Arena was surrounded by fans that didn't have the means to be in the building. A couple of the Nuggets players went out into the plaza. Aaron Gordon actually walked home through the crowd, which is amazing, or bounced home as it was. But I, I love the idea of these buildings not being exclusive boxes, but having a role in the community, drawing people in, even if they aren't drawing people into the actual event, but drawing them on site, making it a bigger footprint for everybody that can take advantage of the excitement and the dynamics of what sporting events bring.